Okay, folks, first four trips out on the California Delta of 2023 for me. That's one way to put it, right, Dutch? I, that doesn't sound good. Guys, that's the video for today. Practice for the California Bass Nation tournament just tomorrow. So hopefully we figure something out today. Giant striker. <clears throat> All right, first fish of 2023 on the California Delta. It's a bass, just the wrong species. I'd take a bite on anything at this point. Large mouth, that is, but I think I bit on the jig. Even one bite. Man, oh man, what that would do to my confidence going into the tournament tomorrow. Hello. Hey there. What's up, bro? Nothing. How about you? Still in uh, that first slew, but I don't know why. I'm getting the hell out of here. A couple bass boats back here, and between the two of them, they have one fish on a drop shot. Oh boy. All right, well, good luck. All right, man. All right, later. Later. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Well, I think we just figured out what we're doing all tournament. That's a beauty right there, guys. I'm happy to have a bite. Well, what did we wish for today, guys? One jig bite? Got it. We got one more, my confidence would be through the roof. We are out of here, folks. We are out of here. Found our spot. Looks like it was maybe more the area. As of right now, pretty much where we're putting all of our eggs tomorrow. I just really don't know how this wind tomorrow is gonna affect that area. It's gonna be windy. Struggle bus. Riding the struggle bus. Hello, Michael. Hi, Dad. How's it fishing? Dude, it's so good. I caught so many fish today. It's unbelievable. You wouldn't even believe how many fish I caught today. Are you serious? Uh, no. You got it if you're not gonna win. What's up, Mikey? Hi. I uh, gave up on bass halfway through the day and went striper fishing the rest of the day. <laughs> all right, dudes, I expect you all to be in the top 10 and don't come. All right, we'll try. Yeah, don't count on it. Later. Later. Yeah, later. Later. <sighs> Dutch, you want to go first? Yeah, it won't take long. Zero bites, zero fish. I've heard this before. <laughs> yeah. Aldi? I stopped uh, pre fishing at about 11 o'clock. Went striper fishing the rest of the day. Caught a six striper, missed five others. It was a good day for me. Today for me was, you know, fishing history, stuff that I was used to. I don't think it was a tide deal. I don't think it was a time of day deal. I think it was an area deal. Finally got bit on the Delta, which I'm happy with. The one thing which I mentioned is it's going to be windy tomorrow. That area is going to be a lot tougher to fish. Who knows? Good luck tomorrow. Cheers. Here we go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Tournament morning, tournament day, Sunday. As you saw in the previous video, this weekend is the California Bass Nation. Stop number four, the last stop for their 2023 season before the championship in May. And it brings us to one of my favorite, maybe not this year, bodies of water, the California Delta. Going into practice yesterday, we had skunked four trips in a row out on the Delta for 2023. And yesterday, I will say, was a tough bite. We had to make a lot of flips, a lot of casts, cover a lot of ground to get some bites, but we did get some bites one really big one which was nice and then a small one and one that followed all on the jig all in one area eliminated a lot of water and i have one little stretch that i plan on fishing today so that's the game plan we'll see what happens again the whole point of fishing these california bass nation events is to qualify for the championship in may which we did to hopefully do well there and qualify for the Bassmaster kayak championship in 2024 but with all that said today is tournament day we've got 42 anglers signed up it's an open launch you can fish anywhere on the Delta with public access. As far as our times go, right now it is 6.43. We can launch our boat at seven o'clock. First cast is seven o'clock. Last cast is three o'clock. Off the water and checked out by 3.30 and then photos uploaded to Tourney X by five o'clock. So we got eight hours of fishing. I have no clue what to expect. Conditions are a little bit different today. It looks nice right now, but I know the wind's gonna pick up and it's 
a wind that's unfortunately going to probably affect our area. So I, I don't know. All I can say is for these kind of tournaments, these grinders, I'm just going to put my head down, try to fish hard, try to be efficient with my cast, try to pick apart the cover since I'm really fishing a small stretch and I don't have really anywhere else to go. I don't have a plan B. I've got one plan and that's it. But I'll tell you what, and we talked about it in the previous video, with the bite still being pretty tough out here on the Delta, man oh man, five fish, five keepers could go a long way today. Guys, I'm excited. First tournament on the Delta. Hopefully we can figure out this puzzle, get a little bit of good fortune, and we'll see how this one shakes out. But we're all loaded up, launch the kayak, and we'll get started shortly here. Alrighty, here we go guys, 720, this is the little half mile stretch area that we're probably going to invest most if not all of our day. Dang, wind's already picking up, it's a west wind, I have to deal with some conditions that's for sure, but I gotta just tell myself that there's fish here and there's probably fish moving in as well. If we can just get five fish out of here, whew, that'd be something. four no bites yet this wind isn't getting any better Let's see how long i can put up with this Again, not getting bit. I tend to want to set the hook on anything. <laughs> oh no! Dang it, that was a bite! Oh, fuzz! Oh my god, I could not be wasting opportunities! Oh! Got a pincher. Oh man, okay, well, let's see if we can catch that fish still. I think I know where he is. Oh man, it's a confidence booster, you know. Let's shorten this up just a bit. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Maybe a drop shot. Oh, 
at least it was a bite. 839, first bite of the day. Man, they talk about mental, I don't want to say toughness, but that's what they say, mental toughness in tournaments can be a huge factor, and I think this is going to be one of them. Can we have the mental toughness to just grind it out here, as long as we can safely? Like, if I can get away with it, I'm going to fish here all day. Man. No good. Bites are kind of subtle. Didn't even feel that one. That's a dinker, but I am happy to have them. Super happy to have them. There are some fish in here. Those two bites give me a lot of confidence, guys. A lot of confidence that we can try to do this all day. It's the mental attitude, the mental strength. Ah, I can't believe we got one. And it's small. I thought any bite we get today would be a big one. Yeah, whatever. Thank you, little buddy. Can't be too careful. Four more fish to go. Talked about this too in the past, but that's one thing that's so much different with kayak tournaments versus boat tournaments with weight is kayak tournaments, like if you come in with four fish, you're pretty much done or shy of a limit, even if they're four big ones. Whereas a boat tournament, you can get four giants and not fill your limit, but still win. Don't work like that with kayaks. Getting five keepers lengthwise is crucial. So my point being, even though that was a small fish, that could be a huge fish at the end of the day if that's number five. That would essentially add 12 and a half inches to the score. Every fish is important. 12 inches, 20 inches, they're all important. Too. Oh my god. That was bite. Tapped it. Man, cannot be striking out so much. Should have been another dink though. Oh man, this is a bummer. sure why I thought this would be okay to fish in. Whoa. These waves are getting big. Well, I tried to stick it out there as long as I could, but it was just getting dangerous. So as much uh, mental strength as I want to have to try to fish that stuff. I also don't want to flip the boat either. I'm going to move on, try to find some protected water and just keep fishing. 1030, one little squeaker in the boat. One thing I've learned over the years is that you got to fish hard till the end. We got four and a half more hours. It's just four bites, four bites per hour and you never know. So I hate to abandon that plan because I know there's fish there, but just Felt like the right decision at this point from a safety standpoint. I think that was a bite. Son of a, he got both of them. Oh my God, why? Oh, could have just been a little one, but still. I need these fish. Oh my god, he got both of the little pincher parts of the trailer. I mean, these have to be little ones, right? Dang it. That's not okay. Yeah, he got these two pieces right here, these fat parts. It's like he intentionally took those pieces off. He knew what he was doing. Can't afford to miss any more fish. 
basically moved to the other side that stretch of water i wanted to fish all day but just peering at it and it's still crazy over there the forecast isn't looking any better it only gets worse it'd be one thing if the wind was coming from a di different direction but it's coming straight from the west it's just blowing right down through there it's the worst possible direction ah oh, gotta adapt gotta adapt 39 I don't want to get too excited. It looks like the stretch that I want to fish might be calming down. I mean, it's definitely calming down. Whether it stays like that or not, I don't know. The past couple of minutes have been peeking over there. It's significantly less windy than it was. We have to keep an eye open because, man, <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. Uh, it's picking up again. Gusts up to 26, 28, 29 mile an hour gusts. Great. Sucks so bad. I just don't know what to do. Ah, I just don't think I can risk it. Are you kidding me? Another freaking bite? Are you serious? Another missed bite. These must be like small males that just moved up because they're not eating the thing like they're supposed to. All right, here we go. Making a move now. This is a big gamble. Getting out of here, going to fish some areas that I really didn't get anything from yesterday, but a little more protected, I believe. So that's gonna be key for me right now is just being able to actually fish. It ain't happening here, so continue on. Are you kidding me? I have never missed this many bites in a tournament, I don't think ever. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Can't buy a break today. The first bite in like three hours too. If we landed everything that we hooked into today, we uh, may have had a limit. Jeez. One fifty four guys. I cannot believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna make a run back to that one spot that we started at and obviously couldn't fish with all that wind. It seems like it's calm right now. Totally be different over there, but I just gotta check it. I've got nothing else. It'll probably take us about twenty minutes to get there. We'll have about forty minutes left to fish it, so I don't know. Today was weird. We'll uh, have to think about this one, but I just feel like I, I messed this up somewhere along the way. But let's go check it and hopefully we can uh, fish it for a little bit longer to finish this tournament out. I don't know. It's not as bad, but it ain't good either. This is borderline for me if I want to fish it or not. The only bad part is the area is all the way at the very corner that I want to fish. Yeah, tough call, tough call. You know what? We're not going to do it. We're not going to fish towards there. We're going to turn. I don't know. It just looks crappy still. That's how we're going to end our day. 212, 48 minutes left to fish. I think we're just going to lock that jig in our hand and <laughs> I don't even know. in my life. Oh my god, I got a bite! Dang it, he short struck it! Wow, maybe I should have been throwing the spinnerbait more. Alrighty guys, man oh man, 
that was an interesting one. That tournament right there is probably gonna go down in history as one of the most challenging tournaments that I've ever fished. You know, we started out the day with a game plan. I was really happy with my practice. I mean, even though we only caught two fish and struggled most of the day, the fact that we found fish in practice the day before and found an area that they were willing to bite and found a bait they were willing to eat, I was really happy with it. I would actually almost grade our practice as like a B plus, which is fantastic because that has not been the trend this year. But I was really happy with practice. I had a game plan going into today to really fish that entire half mile stretch and fish it literally all day. The biggest curveball was the weather, specifically the wind blowing 20, 25 mile an hour with gusts up to 25, 30. And uh, I knew that, you know, I knew that. I thought that potentially we could deal with the wind all day and try to fish that area thoroughly and really pick it apart and just, you know, live with the conditions. But ultimately that is not what happened. It was way too much for me to handle in the kayak. Basically, we started our day. We went to that area. We went quite a while without a bite. First bite of the day, we actually missed. Fish seemed to just eat one of the pinchers. Hey, happy to get a bite. We continued fishing and got another bite maybe 20 minutes later on that jig. Small keeper, but super happy with that small keeper because a limit in this tournament today, I felt could go a long way. So 12 inches didn't matter. Got that keeper. Confidence was high. Now at this point, the wind was starting to pick up. I was getting a little nervous. Saw those white caps. The gusts were getting pretty bad and really just couldn't deal with it at one point. It got so bad where our boat was just like riding waves, dipping down into the water. Boat control was just out the window. So made a decision to move on, try to find some protected water and maybe cycle back to that area later. But that's what we did. We found some protected water, some area with less wind. Third bite of the day, make a flip into the patch of tulies, get thumped, set the hook. Both of the pinchers on the trailer of the jig gone. Super discouraging. Not sure what's going on with these fish. They're just seemingly eating the trailer or not the entire bait. They could be very small fish. Like I said, they could be males moving up, but not exactly what I was hoping for, especially because in my mind, I felt like we'd probably get five to eight bites all day if we were able to fish that area. And man, I've already missed two, so I'm, I'm not in good shape. We keep fishing. I keep peering over at the area that's really completely blown out with wind at this point. I'm just praying that the forecast changes. The wind was coming from the west. It was really gnarly and I ultimately could not fish our good stretch. And we had to explore new water or really water that we'd fished the day before. I was just hoping that potentially some fish had moved up. We might get lucky, but not to be. We covered a ton of water, maybe one bite. Of course, we missed it, which seemed to be the trend of the day. I think at this point, we've got about an hour left in the tournament. The day has gone so fast. Tournament days, fishing just goes so fast. And I decide to make a 20 minute run in the kayak to the area that I wanted to fish all day. I didn't know exactly what it looked like, but at this point, I am completely lost for ideas. So we make that run, we get there, and it's still white capping. As expected, but you know, at this point, I have nothing to lose. So can't fish there. I think I miss another bite on the J and then another one on the spinner bay. And again, I, I don't know. I think these fish were probably small males that had just moved up and maybe started making beds. It's early April, so it would make sense. And they were just guarding and just biting the trailer and not eating the whole bait. That's my tournament on the Delta. Not too happy with that result since I had a lot of confidence after practice, especially catching a big one, but that's fishing. And that's what makes uh, tournament fishing, in my opinion, really fun is, you know, it's not the same thing. It's uh, different conditions every day. Fish are always changing. They're moving. Weather patterns, everything you have to consider consider to kind of really hone in and piece the puzzle together to ultimately catch the fish, put together a solid bag and make a run at winning the tournament. And that is certainly what we did not do for this one. However, I think it uh, goes without saying, though we had a pretty bad tournament, shout out to our guys, Mr. Alden Walden taking third place. And of course, champion, first place winner. I think it's probably everyone's favorite fisherman's favorite fisherman, Mr. Obedi Williams, the ambassador of the Delta, the people's champ. He gets those names for a reason. And uh, I think, I think we have to give him a shout, give him a call, and uh, maybe get a little insight as to what he was doing to catch these fish, because I have no idea. There he is, the champ. I bow. Bow to you, sir. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. You know what? Oh, I gotta give it to you, man. You fish a lot of tournaments in your day. You've yeah. had a lot of good days. You've had a lot of tough days. You've had a lot of conditions. The Delta, in my opinion, man, was fishing super tough, but you came in with a limit, only one of four limits, and you put up yeah. 85 plus, man. So congrats to you, sir. The ambassador, the ambassador. <laughs> 
appreciate you, brother. You know, nothing but love for you, baby. And nothing but love for the GD family, man. You guys know your boy love you, man. I had to put in some work out there this weekend, GB. So yeah, GB. So I pull up to the, I pull up to the ramp, pull up to the side. You know, I take, I take that kayak. I just drag it around. You know? <laughs> it's like when you get vehicles and you got one good vehicle and you got a runner vehicle that can mileage and everything on it. You know, you, you yeah. leave the trash in there and all that stuff. Oh yeah. That's, it's, it's, it's war ready. So I pull up. They see me over there, and a couple of guys, that's over there, that's over there, you know, they're like, oh, we must be, I brought hope to the ramp, you know? I, I would say, if, if on a tournament day, especially for kayakers, if they see you in an open launch at the same ramp, like, I'd, yeah. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, okay yeah, with me. yeah, hey, yeah. I, 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 give, I laugh because that's how I was. And you know what? Even till this day, because I go to other lakes, and I'll pull up, I see you, a couple of other guys there, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I must be in the right area. I must good company right here. Oh, you know, yeah. got something to you, you yeah, know. For sure. So I see the guys there, and I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll see what we can do. I said it's tough out there, so we gonna see. So I get out there, I start fishing. I'm throwing reaction first thing in the morning. I'm throwing reaction. First hour go by, nothing. The second hour go by, nothing. But I'm looking at the scoreboard, and I'm seeing nobody still ain't caught a fish yet. I think after two hours, one person had like two small fish, <laughs> and somebody want another small fish so i was like okay i'm throwing a little crankbait boom three yonder hit Crank i'm it. like oh, oh it too really? so when i see you, know, if you see it choke you get the bite you like uh-oh is that a yeah. sign it's letting me know that hey this is this is the bait they want i'm like oh okay cool that's one fish throw that up on a leaderboard five minutes later i catch another three pounder going down the same rocky bank Damn. and i'm like oh okay boom get him two three pounders like Two or three more casts later, I'm reeling it in. Right when I'm about to pull a lure up the water, another three-pounder comes and grabs it. Now I've got him barely hooked. And I'm like, oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. I get him in. Now my mind is like, they in trouble. Like, this is it. This is th I got the bait. This is what's about to happen. Yeah, what time is it at this point? You got three good oh, fish. Three good fish. It's 11 o'clock. Oh, four hours left. Man. Two fish. Two. One fish. Two Every two hours, one fish. Right? I'm looking good. Board, board, I'm leading. Yeah. And looking down and seeing like, wow, it is tougher than I thought. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm looking real good. Your boy go the next two hours without a bite. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. Yeah, that's how it and goes. I, this is not happening. So now the wind is starting to kick up. Now it's probably like, it's like 130. Now I'm like, now I'm starting to start sweating. I look at the leaderboard again. I think I'm like seventh or ninth. Hour and a half left. Yep. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is not happening. I'm telling myself now at 1 o'clock all the way to 1.30, I'm telling myself, like, oh, put the crankbait down. Put it down. You know, I'm still stuck on the three fish I caught two hours ago. Yeah. You know, I'm like, put it down. We just need two fish at this point, even if they just keepers. You know, it's going to go the longest way, you know, in this kayak tournament. Now the wind is kicking up. I'm trying to fish the bank. I can't fish it no more. I go to the other side. As I'm going to the other side, the net, I had the net, like, because the kayak ain't that big, so I had to put the, the net. I should have had it in the hole, in the uh, the pole holder, but I had it just laying in the back so I could easily grab it to do it. The net, I must have hit it with my elbow or something. The net falls in the water. Now it's, it's, the wind is pushing me, so I'm trying to turn around. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to scoop to get to the net. I'm like, no, no, no. And I just watch the net just go. Oh. No, then right when I get to it, I grab my finger, touches it, and then it just goes down in the water. Just tease, and I, teasing you. And I'm already like frustrated because I got an hour and a half left. I need two more fish. I didn't drop down in the leaderboard, and I just lost the net. Oh. So I'm like, <sighs> like, okay, all right. Oh, I put the I put the crankbait down. I said, let's just throw drop shot for a while, just to see if we can just get two fish. Yeah. I start drop shot. I start drop shot. And drop shot. Drop shot. Drop shot. Throw in here. Yeah! Five yonder. Five yonder? Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay on five yonder. I need you so bad. He's jumping. I don't have no net. I'm trying to get him. I got the ride up here. I get that five yonder. I was like, yes. Yes, you, you, yes. Did, you did the premature net job like I do, right? You got like you got like 10 yeah. yards of line out, and you just try to like, yeah. I hear you. I all about it, like, <laughs> I know too much about it. So I get that fire yonder in. I'm like, okay, it's 205 now. Four fish. Four fish. I'm like, one more, oh, one more. I'm like, okay, let's go. It was the wind pushing it to this one little cove in the corner. I said, it got to be something over there. I get over there. There's a log halfway in the water, halfway out the water. I'm like, that don't look like a place where a fish should be. I don't know what the... So 
my cash drops out over there by law. Now the wind is still blowing me, so now I'm taking the oar and uh, the paddle, and I'm trying to I'm trying to paddle myself back to position. I lift up, j- 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 and I'm like, oh, there we go, there we go. Two pounder, it was 15 inches, and I was like, yes, yes, that's a limit. Like, oh my gosh, oh man, it's two teams. I'm like, all right, Colt, let's keep going. Oh, I'm throwing drop shots some more, throwing drop shots some more. Dude, another fish. And I'm like, oh, the the window's back open. 15 and a half inches. And I was like, okay, we just got another half inch. Keep fishing, keep fishing, keep fishing. Nothing, nothing. I'll pick up the crankbait, throw the crankbait out there. I catch another one, 15 and a half. Didn't help me. I said, okay, put that down. I keep throwing the cranky, I'm throwing the cranky, I'm throwing the cranky. The cranky gets stuck on a a twig or something. So when I pulled it back up, I kind of like thought I got bit. So I pulled it. The crankbait came back, hit the rod, and the line got all tangled up on the on it. It's like, uh, what was it? It was 250. I remember it was 250, right? So I was like, gosh, it's all tangled. So I took my drop shot, and then I put the drop shot out there while I untangle the crankbait. So I'm untangling the crankbait and everything. All right, get the crankbait, sit there. I put in the rod holder. I grab for the drop shot because I'm about to move to go hit this other little spot. I go to lift up. It's like, it goes, doom. As soon as I move it, I feel a tick. I'm like, oh, I set the hook. Four yonder come out. <laughs> Three quarters. I said, oh, my God. Uh. He's and I'm like, come here again because I know I don't got that much time left. I get up. I'm like, I'll get here. I get up. I put them on there. I look. It was 258 by the time I submitted when he said it was in the net. And I said, ain't that something for you? And that was it. Good. And I said, when it goes your way, it goes your way. That last hour, man. That last hour was something happened. That was yeah. that's oh, incredible, man. Being magical. Because an hour prior, I was sweating bullets. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're so close to winning. You're right there. Like, it's nothing worse. Like, if you're not in it, you're just not in it. But when it's shaping up to be one, yeah. and you know you just need a little bit, and you're just watching the time go. Like, time just starts speeding Ooh, up. Yep. I need those two fish. You know? Man, well, you pulled it off, dude. I mean, holy smokes. That's, like, that's amazing. Because, I mean, the fact that you caught, what, eight keepers in a day? Yeah. I mean, I caught one keeper all day. And I think there was, what, we said four limits. It was tough. Yeah. It was tough. And it's, it's been tough for a while. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's been tough. What I'm kind of putting together is fish are willing to bite in only small little areas. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm gathering from talking to people and just getting out there practicing. It seems like there's certain areas right now where you can catch some fish, but the bulk of the Delta is nah, tough. Not time and yet. It, and all of us Delta people, that fish is always like, any day, any yeah. day. That was that's me, me being one of them. <laughs> like I said, man, I, I salute, I, I bow to the ambassador. You've you proved it once again, like the hundredth time. I mean, I think this is already what your second win on the Delta this year. I don't even know how it's possible. I didn't even there's fish in the Delta anymore. So I gotta ask, is this tournament has got to be a yonder tail, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Now this. <laughs> Everybody is a yonder tail. Shout out to, oh, I mean, oh, you guys probably already know, but like, oh, has got a channel, YouTube channel, and uh, you've started a new podcast series on the channel, Yonder Tales. I've enjoyed yes, every I- single, all four of them at this point, man. Like, they're they're cool. So I think you do Thank them you. like once a week or so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it every Sunday. That's my plan. Thanks to GB. <laughs> always pump up. Let me know to stay on it and stay on it. So yeah. I've been... Trying to really stay on, making sure every Sunday y'all can wake up to a smile and a good story from your boy Oski and a good <laughs> tell. I said, stay tuned because GB, I'm about to get him as soon as our oh, yeah. our, our time together. I get him over here. We are gonna have a good yonder tail. We gonna have multiple yonder uh, tails. We got some tails. But, uh, According to my math, myself, yeah. you, Aldi, we all qualified for the California Bass Nation Championship. In May, I mean, I know my goal is to get back to the Bassmaster Kayak Championship oh, in 2024. Yeah. So that's man, my plan too. That'd be a I trip. I would love to make it there. I was telling my wife, like, we close, close. We re- well, oh, dude, congrats, man. I'm I'm super stoked for you. I'm glad we get to fish that championship in May. High thank five. You, brother. Ah. For the folks at home, I thank you for watching. Congrats to O. Like I said, go follow his channel, Yonder Tales. Oh, good job, dude. And we'll talk to you later. TV. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Eat the day!